subscribe to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification of the upcoming videos hello friends welcome to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer in this video we will learn about the pipe fitting that i use for project this video is the second part of the pipe fitting video series it is very important topic for all the piping freshers if you have missed any of the parts of the pipe fitting video series i would recommend you to check those out as i have shared the link in the description box below please go through all the previous parts let's begin this video by a revised look on the question what are pipe fittings this is for the new viewers on our channel risk and skip the videos directly to the main topic but it is advisable to get yourself revised with the question what are pipe fittings pipe fittings are fabricated pieces of pipes that are used to make a change of direction that is elbow to take a branch from the main pipe that is c and to make a reduction in the line size that is reducer or switches in the previous part of the pipe fitting video series we have seen the pipe fittings used for change of direction if you have missed the first part of the pipe fitting video series i have shared the link in the description box below please go through the first part of the pipe fitting series as this is the second video in the pipe fitting video series the topic of our video is pipe fitting used for branching for main pipe run so let us start the topic of this video pipe fittings used for branching first we will see the classification of the fitting used for branching first we will see the classification of the fitting used for branching fittings used for branching first is 90 degree t second we have is lateral t third one is cross followed by half coupling and the last one is pipe to pipe joint 90 degree t is further divided into equal t and reducing t lateral t is also divided into equal and reducing laterals in cross also we have equal and reducing cross 90 degree equal t and 90 degree reducing t is further divided into butt welded socket welded and threaded 90 degree equal t same with equal and reducing lateral t it is divided into butt welded socket welded and threaded lateral t equal and reducing crosses are also divided as butt welded socket welded and threaded crosses here in half coupling we have only socket welded couplings and threaded couplings whereas in pipe to pipe joint we have stub on and stub in which are only butt welded let us encounter all this branch fitting one by one the first fitting we have is branch fitting that is 90 degree t first let us understand what is a t what is t a t is a pipe fitting which is used for connecting the pipes perpendicular that is at an angle of 90 degree the line which connects the main run is called as a branch line whereas the main run from which the branch is taken is called as a header line in the adjacent figure the line which is in the red is the header and the line in the blue and green are branches let us now see type of 90 degree t first one we have here is 90 degree butt welded equal t butt welded equal t and butt welded equal t is a straight t with all three outlets are of the same pipe sizes as shown in the cross sectional figure all the three ends of the butt welded t's are bevel ended to form a butt welded joint butt welded equal t's are used for branching lines size up to 2 inch nps they do not required any type of the reinforcement dimensional standard for butt welded equal t is asme b 16.9 Let us now see how to specify or order a 90 degree butt welded equal t with an example. In the table below, we have first column that is run inlet, second column run outlet, and third is branch connection. If we take an example of 6 inch NPS butt welded equal t, then the first run inlet size is 6 inch NPS, second run outlet size is 6 inch NPS, and third branch size also as 6 inch NPS. So the specification will be 6 inch into 6 inch into 6 inch equal t. Second one here we have is a 90 degree butt welded reducing t, butt welded reducing, t. and butt welded reducing t also known as a unequal t is a straight t with its branch size smaller than the header pipe size as shown in the cross sectional figure reducing t are also used to avoid reducers after equal t's when we need a smaller branch size than the header indirectly it saves the material welding and the labor cost of the system as it is the cost efficient by fitting All three ends of the butt welded reducing T are bevel ended as shown in the figure to form a butt welded joint. As they are butt welded, they are used for branching line size about two inch NPS. Butt welded reducing T also do not require any type of the reinforcement. Dimensional standard for butt welded reducing T is ASME B sixteen point nine. 
Let us see how to specify or order a 90 degree butt welded reducing tee with an example. In the table below, we have first column that is run inlet, second is run outlet and third is branch connection. If we take an example of the butt welded reducing tee, then the first run inlet size is 6 inch NPS, second run outlet size is 6 inch NPS and third branch size as 4 inch NPS. So the specification will be 6 inch NPS into 6 inch NPS into 4 inch NPS reducing T. Third one here is 90 degree socket welded equal T. Socket welded equal T. Functions are same as that of the butt welded equal T. And socket welded equal T is a straight T with all its three outlets are of the same size as shown in the cross sectional figure. As the name indicates, all the three ends of the socket welded T have the sockets on its ends for connecting a small bore plane and pipe to form a socket welded joint by means of a fillet weld. Socket welded equal T are used for branching small bore plane and pipes or line sizes usually up to 1.5 inch NPS which can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per the standard and on the client requirement. They also do not require any type of the reinforcement. Dimensional standard for socket welded equal T is ASMEB 16.11. Let us now see how to specify or order a 90 degree socket welded equal T with an example. In the table below, we have first column that is run inlet, second column that is run outlet and the third is branch connection. If we take an example of a 1.5 inch NPS socket welded equal T, then the run inlet size is 1.5 inch NPS. Second, run outlet size is 1.5 inch NPS and third, run size also has 1.5 inch NPS. So the specification will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS socket welded equal T. Socket welded reducing T. Function are same as that of the butt welded reducing T and socket welded reducing T is a straight T with its branch size smaller than the header size as shown in the cross sectional figure. As the name indicates, all the three ends of the socket welder T have sockets on all its ends for connecting the small bore plane and pipe to form a socket welder joint by means of a fillet weld. Socket welded reducing T are also used for branching small bore plane and pipes or line sizes usually up to 1.5 inch NPS which can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per standard and on client requirement. Reducing sizes on one of the outlet run can be custom fabricated. This means the inlet run and the branch size will be of the same size. Whereas the outlet run will be of the reduced or of small size. This type of the socket welded reducing tees are used in the pressure gauges assemblies where the run inlet is connected to the header and the run outlet is connected to the pressure instrument. Whereas the reducing size run outlet has an drain assembly connected to it for drainage. They also do not require any type of the reinforcement. Dimensional standard for socket welded reducing T is ASMEB 16.11. Let us now see how to specify or order a 90 degree socket welded reducing T with an example. In the table below, we have first column that is run inlet, second column as run outlet and third as the branch connection. If we take an example of a socket welded reducing T, then the first run inlet size 1.5 inch NPS, second the run outlet size 1.5 inch NPS and third the branch size as 1 inch NPS. So the specification will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS into 1 inch socket welded reducing T. In the second case, the run inlet size is 1.5 inch NPS, second one run outlet is 1 inch NPS and the third branch size is 1.5 inch NPS. So the specification will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS. Socket welded reducing T. Threaded equal T. Functions are same as that of the butt welded equal T. And threaded or screw equal T is a straight T with all its three outlet are of the same pipe sizes as shown in the cross sectional view. As the name indicates, all the three ends of the threaded T have female threads on all its ends for connecting a small bore female threaded end pipe to form a threaded joint and sealing it with a Teflon tape. Threaded equal T are used for branching small bore plane end pipes for line sizes up to 1.5 inch NPS which can also be used up to 4 inch NPS as per the standard and on client requirements. They also do not require any type of the reinforcement. Dimensional standard for threaded equal T is ASME B 16.11. Let us now see how to specify or order 90 degree threaded equal T with an example. 
in the table below we have first column that is run inlet second column that is run outlet and third is branch connection if we take an example of a 1.5 inch nps threaded equality then the first run inlet size 1.5 inch nps second run outlet size is 1.5 inch nps and the third branch size is also 1.5 inch nps so the specification will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS threaded equal T. Threaded reducing T. Functions are same as that of the butt welded reducing T. And threaded T is a straight T with its branch size smaller than the header size as shown in the cross sectional figure. As the name indicates all the three ends of the threaded T have female threads on all its ends for connecting a small bore plain threaded end pipe to form a threaded joint and sealing it with a teflon tape. Threaded reducing T are used for branching male threaded end pipes or line sizes up to 1.5 inch NPS which can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per the standard and on the client requirements. They also do not require any type of the reinforcement. Dimensional standard for threaded reducing T is ASME B16.11. Let us now see how to specify or order a 90 degree threaded reducing T with an example. In the table below, we have first column that is run inlet can is run outlet and third is the branch connection. If we take an example of a threaded reducing T, then first run inlet size is 1.5 inch NPS, second run outlet size is 1.5 inch NPS and third the branch size is 1 inch NPS. So the specification will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS into 1 inch threaded reducing T. In the second case the run inlet size is 1.5 inch NPS, second the run outlet is 1 inch NPS and the third branch size is 1.5 inch NPS reducing T. So the specification here will be 1.5 inch NPS into 1 inch NPS into 1.5 inch NPS threaded reducing T. The second type of the fitting the classification we have is lateral T. Lateral T. Lateral T is a fitting which is used where the branch enters the main run or the pipe at an odd angle or angle other than 90 degree that is right angle. Or we can say that a lateral T is used to take an acute angle branch connection from the main line. Lateral T's with equal branch and header sizes are available in standard and axle schedule. Usually lateral T's are available readily with a branch angle at 45 degree but they are also available other than 45 degree on special orders. Reinforcement requirement Where it is necessary to restore the strength of the joint to the full strength of the pipe, reinforcement is required for laterals. This means if we have to match the header and the branch strength 100% then the reinforcement is required otherwise not. Both equal and reducing laterals are ordered in the same fashion as the equal and the lateral T. In addition to that the angle between the branch and the run is also stated. But welded lateral T. And butt welded lateral T is a T with all its outlet as of the same pipe sizes as shown in the cross sectional figure. All the three ends of the butt welded lateral T are bevel welded to form a butt welded joint. Butt welded lateral T is available in equal and reducing branch sizes. Butt welded lateral T are used for branching size above 2 inch NPS and at an odd angle which is different than 90 degree angle. They actually require reinforcement whenever the strength of the header and the branch sizes needs to be matched. Reinforcement is required whenever specified. Lateral T is used in flare lines where the safety valve discharge line is connected to the subheader and then to the main header. Second one in the lateral T we have a socket welded lateral T. And socket welded lateral T is a T with all its three outlets are of the same pipe sizes as shown in the figure. As the name indicates, this lateral T have sockets on all its three ends for connecting small bore plane and pipes. Socket welded lateral T's are available in both equal and reducing lateral T's. They are usually used to connect small pipe sizes usually up to 1.5 inch NPS and can be used up to 4 inch NPS. They are used to take an odd angle from small bore plane and pipes. Threaded lateral T and threaded lateral T is a T with all its three outlets are of same pipe sizes as shown in the cross sectional figure. As the name indicates, this lateral T has female threads on all its ends for connecting small bore male threaded end pipes. Available in both equal and reducing lateral T. They are used to connect the small bore plane pipe sizes usually up to 1.5 inch NPS can be used up to 4 inch NPS pipe sizes. 
They are used to take an odd angle from small bore threaded end pipes. Another type of the branching method or branch fitting is a cross. First, let us see what is a cross. A pipe cross, which is also known as a four way fitting, is used to place where four pipe meets together, in which we have one inlet and three outlets. A four way fitting is used to connect pipes and change or control the flow of the fluid to the piping system. Pipe cross fitting may stress pipes as temperature changes due to their four way nature, that is, they are at the center of the four connection points, as shown in the figure. And because of this, the pipe crosses are not used in the process piping. It is always preferred to use the T fitting as shown in the figure instead of a four way fitting. So the pipe crosses are basically a stock item or we can say an inventory item. Crosses are more beneficial in the situation where the thermal expansion is not an issue such as in a fire sprinkler system, marine piping, etc. Available in all three end connections that is butt welded, socket welded and threaded. Butt welded equal cross. And butt welded equal cross just like an equal T has all its size equal. But here the equal means all the four ends of the cross are of the same size. All the four ends are bevel ended for connecting the bevel ended pipes to form a butt welded joint. Butt welded equal crosses are used for connecting pipe sizes above 2 inch NPS. Dimensional standard for butt welded equal crosses is ASME B16.9. As we know the pipe crosses receive the pressure from all the four pipes. The pipe joint between the pipes and the crosses must be very strong. Butt welded reducing cross. The reducing cross is also called as an unequal cross pipe fitting. It is a cross which has four branch ends in which two are of the same size and other two are of different sizes. As the prefix indicate, the ends used for joinings are bevel ended. The reducing cross is used to connect the different pipe sizes about 2 inch NPS. Dimensional standard for butt welded reducing cross is ASME B16.9. Socket welded cross. As the prefix indicate, all the ends of the cross have sockets for connecting small bore plane and pipe. Socket welded cross are available in equal sizes and reducing sizes. They are usually used to connect the same or two different pipe sizes up to 1.5 inch NPS and can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per the standard. Dimensional standard for socket welded crosses is ASME B16.11. Threaded cross. As the prefix indicates, all the ends of the crosses are female threaded ends for connecting the small bore male threaded end pipes. Threaded crosses are also available in equal sizes and reducing sizes. They are usually used to connect same or two different pipe sizes, usually up to 1.5 inch NPS and can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per the standard. Dimensional standard for threaded cross is ASME B16.11. The next type of the fitting used for branching is half coupling. So first let us see what is a half coupling. What is half coupling? Half couplings are used for branching if the main run that is header is of the large bore and branch is of the small bore. For example, 20 inch NPS header size and 3 by 4 inch or 1 inch NPS branch size. The hole whose diameter is equal to OD of the coupling is drilled or bored into the header then both are welded together. Like I said in the first point, 20 inch header and 3 by 4 inch branch, this type of the case comes when the instrument connection is required on the header. This means half coupling is extensively used where instrument connection is required on the large bore header just like 20 inch NPS, 24 inch NPS or 26 NPS. Bullet fittings are more or highly preferred over half couplings because of its self reinforcement and due to its strength. Dimensional standard for half coupling is ASME B16.11. Socket welded half coupling. Socket welded half coupling has sockets but only on one end and has the bore to match the OD of the branching pipe. They are used to connect small bore plane end pipes or nipples to large bore headers. Like I said earlier, they are used for installing instrument connections with plane end on large bore headers. Dimensional standard for socket welded half coupling is ASME B16.11. The second one is the threaded half coupling. Threaded half coupling. The threaded half coupling has female threads but only on one end and has the bore to match the OD of the branching pipe. They are used to connect small bore threaded male end pipes or nipples to large bore headers. 
usually used for installing instrument connections with threaded ends on large bore headers. Dimensional standard for threaded half coupling is ASMEB 16.11. Method of making a branch connection is called as pipe to pipe joint or pipe to pipe connection. Pipe to pipe joint. First thing, it is not an actual fitting, but rather it is a method of making a fabricated branch connection from the pipe. In pipe to pipe joint, a hole is bored into the header pipe as we can see in the adjacent demonstration. The hole can be either of the size of OD or ID of the branch and the branch is then stubbed into it. Both the pipes are then welded together. The branch connection can be of the same size or smaller size as the header but it cannot be of the same size. These are usually weak connections on the piping system than the reducing T or the similar pipe fitting but can be used for low pressure and temperature piping systems. Reinforcement pad can be used in order to make the joint stronger than the reducing fitting. Pipe to pipe joints are more economical than the same size reducing fitting in terms of number of welds and the additional cost of the fitting is eliminated. Because if we use a reducing fitting of the similar size, the number of the welds we require to make the joint is 3 whereas for the pipe to pipe joint it is only 1. This advantage reduces the welding cost, material cost, fitting cost as well as labor cost of the joint. In pipe to pipe joints we have two types means the pipe to pipe joints can be made by two methods first is stub in second is stub on first let us see what is stub in stub in in stub in pipe to pipe joint a large hole is bored on the circumference of the header pipe and the branch pipe whose end is made similar to fit the id of the header is fitted inside the hole pipes are then welded together to make a joint as we can see in the cross sectional view Stub in pipe joint is normally used when the branch size is two size smaller than the header size. For example, if the header size or the run pipe is of 14 inch NPS and the branch size is of 10 inch NPS means two size smaller or we can say more than one size difference then the type of branch fabrication will be of stub in. That in pipe to pipe joint is stub on. In stubborn pipe to pipe joint also a large hole is bored on the circumference of the header pipe and the branch whose end is made similar to fit the OD of the header is fitted inside the hole. The pipes are then welded together to form a joint as we can see in the cross sectional view. Stubborn pipe joint is used when the branch size is two size smaller than the header size. For example, if the header pipe or run pipe is of 14 inch NPS and the branch size is of 12 inch NPS means one size smaller or we can say one size difference then the type of the branch fabrication will be of stub on. In both stub in and stub on methods of pipe to pipe joint we require reinforcement pads. So let us understand what is reinforcement pad. But before moving to reinforcement pad let us understand what reinforcement is. What does reinforcement mean? Reinforcement means the addition of extra material at the branch connection made from pipe to pipe joint or nozzle to vessel joint. This is done because when the internal conditions such as pressure or temperature of the fluid or external forces such as vibration are placed on pipe to pipe joint that is on stub on or stub in joints. Therefore a special type of the reinforcement may be necessary to prevent the branch connection to separate from the main header in such conditions. Now let us see what are reinforcement pads and let's understand them in detail. What is a reinforcement pad? Reinforcement pad which is also known as the RF pad is a metal ring which is cut from same metal as that of the header with a hole in the center equal to the diameter of the branch connection and it is bent to conform the curvature of the header pipe. The ring is slipped onto the branch pipe then welded to both branch and header to form a joint. RF pads are provided with a small hole called weep hole which is produced to vent out gases due to welding otherwise the gases will be trapped inside. The size of the weep hole is approximately 1 by 4 inch NPT. Reinforcement may be regular which is also known as the partial reinforcement as shown in the first figure. In this type the reinforcement is partially given to the joint and then it is welded by means of a fillet weld. The second type of the reinforcement is wrapped saddle as shown in the second figure. In this type of the reinforcement, the saddle is fully encircled through the branch and header joint. Both the reinforcement saddles are prepared or fabricated to comply ASME B31.3. 
the type of the reinforcement whether to use regular that is the partial saddle or wrap saddle depends on the stress requirement this i used to reinforce the branch made with welded t connections on the pipelines that require additional reinforcement to operate safely and meet code requirements welded laterals usually in layer lines pipe to pipe joints that is in stub in and stub on joints at butt welded connections to equipments for reinforcing nozzles i hope you have understood the topic of this video as i have tried to break down all the pipe fittings that i used for branching it is very important topic for all the piping freshers which includes craftsmen designers and engineers as they can be asked in the job interview this video is the second part of the pipe fitting video series thanks for watching this video and if you like the content of my video please don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends because sharing also increases our own knowledge and yes don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel passionate piping engineer also press the bell icon below to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos till then stay tuned take care